can you sorry you can start it oh oh i thought somebody is going to ask me something okay hello uh, good evening uh, good evening from us uh, i'm i'm in phoenix arizona and um, good morning to all of you uh, and thank you so much for having me here shaker ji um, i just wanted to introduce myself as somebody who was born in uh, guwahati assam i'm from assam northeastern part of india and if you know if you've been to assam uh, it is 100 kilometers from the west what is place on earth which is mosin dam charapunji so i actually grew up uh, wearing rubber boots all the way up to my knees crossing uh, flooded uh, streets and rivers and then going to school uh, after my marriage i landed in arizona which is a tourist place in us and it was a huge um, change for me but let me tell a little bit about myself the way i grew up um i was uh, fortunate enough to be born to my parents my my dad uh, he is in technical field my mom is also an engineer so he she actually uh, graduated as a, she was the second batch of women engineers all over the world from uh, assam engineering college and af when i was doing my bachelor's uh, they of my both my parents also got a law degree so they are both engineers and lawyers at the same time which puts a lot of pressure on us as kids so i am one of the three uh, siblings i'm the eldest one so sabse badi beti hu sabse bade bete ka my grandparents had seven kids so my father is the oldest son so indirectly bahut pressure padta hai ki bar bara ladka ka badi beti hai to kuch to karna hi hai so always i wanted to become a doctor as a profession and uh, everything was going well until um i reached my 10th grade and uh, 10th grade me mujhe acha college pe marks uh, i got good grades and <clears throat> i was transferred over uh, we, i went to college junior college 11th and 12th grade ke liye uh, and 12th grade me jab mujhe great grades mila i got a scholarship so everybody knew that i'm going to become a doctor so Uh, but as fate would have it kuch to kuch to hua i changed my mind and within 3 months uh, i decided i don't want to be a doctor anymore jo zindagi mein hum chote se leke 11 12th grade tak you already you always have that ambition to become a doctor but something changed in me because of course teenage teen and uh, i was in my 18 19 years and you know kabhi kabhi hota hai ki we just change our um, Uh, attitudes in a flick and that's what exactly happened to me so magic mai kya kiya ki i went to the medical exam because my parents would not let me to otherwise they would never accept me to not go into uh, a medical entrance so i went to the medical entrance exam literally bombed it because i deliberately marked wrong answers okay so that mujhe admission nahi mile aur main itna calculative thi ki mujhe pata tha ki people know i'm not an idiot so me calculate karke me dekhti thi ki kitna marks mujhe agar milega the people will not think i am literally i literally bum the exam so itna calculate karke me decide kiya ki i went i got into the waiting list but i didn't get into medical school so that was my biggest begin mistake so the story that i'm going to tell you about me today is this journey from failure and i consider myself that a failure because if you were born in the early you know 80s and 70s 2000 i mean 1990 the only two professions that were respected then was a medical or an engineering so first find the bunker dia i mean literally i deliberately did that but then i promised my dad one thing that that main bachelor se padhungi i will go into a general line with general under quotations because if you are not a doctor and engineer you're a general person which means sab jo smart nahi hai acceptable nahi hai society mein they go into this general profession right tabhi that was how it was life back then so uh but i promise that ki dad main general line hi padhungi but one day i promise you you're going to see my new my name in the newspapers okay so that the vishwas nahi karte the ki ye mere baby mere beti gayi to usko kuch 
किसी अच्छा लड़का नहीं मिलेगा शी इज गॉन सो तो मेरा प्रेशर जो डॉक्टर बनने का था इट फेल ऑन माई सिस्टर सो माई सिस्टर वॉन्टेड टू बी इंजीनियर but since i did not become a doctor the engineering thing fell on her and she hates me because of that still tells me didi if you would have uh, done medical i would have done engineering so but anyway that's a different story but um waha se leke i studied zoology zoology par ke i became an insect scientist entomologist ban gayi masters and i stood first class second so paper mein news aa gaya name aa gaya but that happy neither कि दैट्स नॉट द वे आई वांटेड योर न्यूज इन द नेम ऑफ द न्यूज़ पेपर्स सो उसके बाद आई ट्राई टू डू पीएचडी तो थोड़ा पीएचडी का काम धीरे से शुरू किया ही था कि आई गॉट अ प्रपोजल जो आई गॉट मैरिड टू माय हस्बैंड एंड ही इज फ्रॉम अ वेरी रिमोट पार्ट ऑफ असम एंड ही वाज हियर इन द यूएस एंड दे वर लुकिंग फॉर अ ब्राइड तो जिंदगी जो थान लेती है वही होता है तो ही जस्ट वी जस्ट गट मैरिड इन 2003 एंड आई केम टू यूएस तो जब मैं देखती हूँ मेरी जिंदगी बिफोर राइट इन इंडिया जो इंडिया पार्ट का है आई कंसीडर दैट अ फेलियर एंड अ सक्सेस इन अ वे दैट मुझे डॉक्टर बनना था मैंने बना ली एंड नाउ एट 43 इयर्स आई डू रिग्रेट कि आई शुड हैव बिकम अ डॉक्टर बिकॉज दैट्स एक्जेक्टली व्हाट आई वांटेड टू so what she is got band ke i came to us and i said okay i'm going to do a phd program here but mere husband ne bola nahi nahi tum medical pad lo ab tum agar sath settle ho jate ho to main naukri chhod dungi and he is a pretty good engineer he is a new software and it to maine bola nahi aisa to nahi hota hai but thankfully he was very supportive um to maine bola nahi 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 you stay in here i'm not going to do medical right now because us me there is it's it's called land of opportunities for a reason it's the reason is that you can do anything at any time at any age so mera kya tha ki yes i had the option of doing medical but tab mere shaadi ho gayi thi uh sabko khush rakhna tha uh, i was away from my in-laws and my parents but yahan pe to mujhe ek zindagi i had to start so i decided that i'll put that phd so i was planning to do a phd of course a little bit later let's to me the um in 2005 my daughter was born but the first job here the the failure that i faced when i came to us was i came on an h4 and i didn't have any work permit when i got the work permit a year later i was trying every possible job jo bhi applicant jo bhi hota tha i would apply for everything did not get a job for over 8 to 9 months i w- i was applying for um jobs at 15 20 jobs at a time so uh, one of my friends said ki rachna you have a masters degree you're over qualified for most of these jobs that are in the us so you're going to be like so i remembered literally uh, slashing the masters of my resume and saying okay no i'm just a bachelor just give me something because the okay, first thing hota hai ki nowadays a lot of professor professionals are coming here with all with, with already existing jobs right or they come to study and then they get into a job mera position alag tha ki i came here as an age 4 i was a wife i wanted to have kids soon and there was nobody to give me a job because nobody knew me right i did not come in from us directly or neither i was contacted here so my first struggle was to find a job so kya kare kya kare so after 9 months of looking for a job like this constantly applying i decided enough is enough right i need to just put myself out there so i started volunteering i applied for a volunteer position at yahan pe ek hospital hai st luke's medical hospital so i applied there and the lady called back and said and everywhere when you go for volunteering just because i don't have to pay you they'll hire you uh without pay so they hired me and i said fantastic i was 26 years old uh i loved talking to everybody um i, I was very easy going right so when i started um working there uh then i came to realize that just volunteering is not going to do it i really have to know a lot of things and i'll show you a powerpoint where i talk about what goes on but my life is something very different 
So I'm going to share my screen right now. I'll show you what I mean by what I did here in the US. So let me see. I'm going to go from my current slide. So uh, can anybody unmute and tell me what do you see when you see this picture? I would love you to interact with me because the kid job ache and I'm a teacher, I know that when I only speak, it becomes boring. But when people come and talk back to me, I love that. So what do you think this picture entails? Anybody? I'm pushing Please? a big stone. Sorry? The I'm pushing a big stone. Like yes, yes. Okay. Men pushing a big stone up, uphill. So it's persistence and perseverance. Because a second maybe agar he his hand goes that that big huge boulder is going to roll onto him and it's going to kill him right so you have to be you have to keep on putting that same amount of force and continuously push that thing and that was my life my whole the boulder was my life significant as to what struggle I was having here uh, and what did I do to come up with that particular to a solution. So a lot of people also think he, you know, success. A lot of people see success in, just uh, like we Facebook, make which they think I achieved this, this, this is a word. Majority of the people will say, "Wow, really? I know her. She, she's not, she's not good. But how did she win this award?" Some people have even asked me, "Did I self nominate for?" A couple of awards that I got, I'm like, wait a second. I don't think self-nomination is even a thing, right? You always get nominated by other people and then you apply and then you get an award. So I will you what awards I got, but the success is just a very small portion of what you actually see in social media, in, you know, subject life me, but there is this huge portion of the, ice, the iceberg that is below the water that you don't see. Failure is a big part of my life. I have failed 99% of the time and only 1% I have been successful. And that's what you'll see today as me as successful, but there's a huge amount of work. There's a lot of disappointment. There's lots of sacrifice. You know, there is a lot of hard work, dedication, discipline. Uh, I don't know, head is been made up, but I'm not going to say I'm disciplined enough, but everything comes together to become who I am. I now, I have double masters. I work at, uh, uh, I work as a solar system ambassador through NASA. I am a STEM coordinator for my school. I'm also an innovator, I'm an entrepreneur, and I'm going to become an author too soon, I'm writing a book. But people best know me as a beekeeper. So I have my own bees, my second masters here is through research and honeybees, I get stung every single day and I love it. Guess why I love it? Because that is my adrenaline rush, right? I need that, that, that sort of a pressure, pleasure in my life that, yes. And another thing that keeps me going is that I know that the bee venom has chemicals that prevent arthritis. So hopefully I'll never get arthritis in my life, right? So just a thing, but yahape ake, when I first got my job, my first job was through volunteering. So it bandi jo, I actually used to talk every day and say hi to every day. She just came up to me and said, do you want a job? And I didn't even know that she was looking for somebody or she even worked at a hospital. I thought she was just a casual visitor for somebody. But then she said, <clears throat> there is a cafeteria job available if you want to. And I said, what cafeteria job? And it's a cashier job, right? And uh, so cash, so a hospital major cafeteria hai, wo cashiering thori der ke liye hota, but for the most part, the main job is to clean tables and floors and to pack lunches for the, uh, for the patients. So that's what I was doing, cleaning floors and tables. So, and I said, fantastic, because you have to have a positive attitude. And I, I learned because I am into zoology, I am into science, I tried to study the, the, the diets that was given to those specific patients that are in that hospital. Then after I worked, I started working, 
I actually got a job as an adjunct faculty. You have a community colleges, so community colleges usually they give bachelor's degrees to students. And these community colleges, um, so I have part time come come like And I worked there for 10 years, just uh, my kids were born, and when my beta started going to school, kindergarten, you have a kindergarten to Kashuru Hotel, preschool. Um, I said, Ki, I need to go back to my work. So USDA, Yahape, it's a federal organization, United States Department of Agriculture, because Mira in sex science. Tha. So I applied there, I got a job. Um, and during the job, so kya karti thi, that, that other job was also part time. So man is put a week for Monday to Friday split karkerakata. Monday, Wednesday, I was in college. Mein. Tuesday, Thursday, I was in the USD and Friday was free. Friday was my you know, stay at home. But again, the kids were at school, so just relax day. But I thought, like, okay, I have a PhD. Karni hai. So I think this is a great time for me to think. So uh, USD, mein kam karte, the, the, the uh, professor whom I was working under, who is you may have Arizona State University in Phoenix. Mein. So he actually was um, um, part of that social insect research group, jahan pe, um, and he brought me over to take to get a visit. And I ended up volunteering at the Honeybee Lab on the Fridays that were free. So I technically I was working on the weekend, I was working on lab tech, and on Fridays I was working on volunteer kar thi, Honeybee Lab. Mein. So when I was working on Honeybee Lab, so I actually got um, in contact with all of the research students, PhD students who were already there, projects I started to how can I help, how can I not help, you know, uh, and started to learn. So nine months, I Honeybee Lab, I volunteered. And then um, I got an offer for a PhD program. So 2014, nay, 2013, July, May, again, who was watching me indirectly because of the work that I was doing voluntarily, he said, uh, I have a space and opening. Can you come and join the PhD program? I said, yes, I want to. So I joined So 2014, this is 13 years after my first master's. Okay. And that was something that was very precious to me. I PhD my PhD because Itne salo pehle maine PhD maine doctor nahi bana and I really wanted to get back to this to some some kind of a doctor to mujhe banna hai. So 2014 I started and then another failure. Two years later, uh, my, my professor, baki jo uh, lab students the, baki dono the, un logon ko bula ke bola ki I'm leaving for Germany. You guys have to find your own labs. I was devastated. Because tera saal ke baad ab wapas aayenge, bache hain, ghar mein parivar hai, you have to cook, you have to clean. So, bacho ko padha ke, raat ko nao baje, mein baachti thi padhne ke liye, ek do baje tak padhti thi, subay again, I would wake up at six o'clock, get the kids, send them to school, mein college jati thi, I would come back, again, the same thing. So, after two years of doing that, my professor bolta hai, bolta hai ki, no, I'm sorry, you won't be able to finish your PhD. Um, uh, I'm, I'm leaving. So that same year, my father-in-law also passed away. Of course, I had to look after my husband. So what So I went into depression. And in 2002, uh, I master's ka kaam tha, I took four years. But finally, in 2018, I graduated out with my second master's. So I walked very I mean, I walked down that graduation ceremony in pride, saying that, okay, bachelor's, I mean, PhD, what happened? I will come to my second, second master's. So I'm going to go for my second master's. And I did um, uh, finish my second master's. But during that time that I was in depression, one of my friends called me a schoolmate uh, opportunity. So in, never in my dreams, did I ever believe that uh, I'm going to become a high school teacher? 
but kuch to hua something happened i would call it destiny i would call it miracle i don't know i came in and then the within the first three months of me teaching main high school bana rahi thi 9 to 12th grade i saw an email in my junk folder and junk folder me and the title of that uh, uh email was a $10000 grant from lemelson mit and i'm like kya hai ye okay and i dreaded writing grants so kya hai ye kya and i clicked it and it was actually a grant opportunity for $10000 for a group of high school students to present an innovative idea from mit so lemelson mit it's uh, so lemelson um uh, the gentleman lemelson so his father has over 600 patents just after edition thomas alva edition you must know him uh, so jerry jerome levinson was the second most innovative person and his son has actually contracted with mit to give these scholarships and uh, grant opportunities to high school students to do amazing work innovative ideas so man click here apply here i got an award from mit and then it started you know the whole uh, last charles al say my failures because of my persistence of not giving up is starting to explode touch wood touch wood and abhi jo main feel karti hu the pleasure that i feel for my students is very genuine and i'll show you some of the projects that my students did these are all ninth and 10th graders so um what i will do here sorry i think i paused my screen sorry sorry ek second okay mai wapas share karti hu something happened i clicked something okay so slide okay here so i started something called dribble and and this is my acronym so dribble ka matlab hai dream research innovate project based learning during this program and i actually got the president's award honorable mention president's award for innovative uh, teaching ye sab mere bachche hain and all of them uh, so this was my first project for my mit grant to uh, make a wristband that amplifies wifi signals in dead zones right using mesh network if you guys know what mesh network that is something that the students were making and they actually have a patent pending for this and yahan pe bachche they are presenting in front of the city board jo this is a director of economic development christine wagner and bachche present kar rahe uske ideas so this was one of one of the projects another project hai bachche jo these these five kids they actually have a contract with porsche and un logon ne scent bags banaya hai they are calling it smart scents and these smart scents actually was a result of another grant opportunity it's called lexus eco challenge and uh, ecologically sustainable uh, things that they can do so these four these five of them also have another patent pending and they have a contract with porsche and this group of students they actually are working so we got a 50000 grant from hue as as you guys are hum log kaam kar rahe abhi and all of these students here all 9th and 10th graders have presented in front of the chamber of commerce yahan pe chamber of commerce hota hai jo city ka main business partners they have presented their idea and they were highly acclaimed and all of them uh with really said really good things about it another grant so arizona recycling grant had these three students un logo ko waste con is an international conference for recycling waste these three students got explained and um all of them 10th grade mein the tab abhi 11th mein hai last this was last year they got recognized and awarded a 5000 grant for that project that cafeteria mein jo <clears throat> um ye hote hain uh, uh, styrofoam plates wo sare from plates recycle kaise kiya jaye so they figured out a way i think i'm running out of time so aur ek to um meri bitiya ne kiya hai so she actually took her experiments science experiments and she had actually written a book 
on uh, healthy eating. So it has become an international bestseller. So bahut resources may use karti hu, but the biggest thing that uh, we use research bahut zada me research karti hu, bahut zada me grants likti hu, and what I think is never giving up is an idea that everybody, every one of you should imbibe. Jitna bhi failures ho, the more you are, the more you hit rock bottom, the easier it is to get up for you because there is nowhere else to go. You're already in the bottom, right? So the only way is up. So wo positive mindset rakh ke, just continue to push and believe in yourself and do not give up on your dreams. That's all I can say because that's what I have seen definitely and I am very proud to tell you that very recently I actually got another chance to get into my PhD program. So jo heat sensing device tha, uske through I will probably get my PhD also in another five years. So I'm very, very excited for it. So that's all I have, uh, Shekhar Ji. And if anybody has any questions for me, I am more than happy to take it. Anybody any questions? I think no I, questions? I think I bored them too much with my I So shall we call Nanit uh, for word of time? Nanit, there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ma'am, it was such an amazing session. We like to express our sincere thanks to you and we are very grateful to you for analyzing this amazing topic of struggle and opportunities. You're most welcome. In life. And Ma'am, we'd like to acknowledge our gratitude to you and we are inspired by your great words. Thanks. Thanks a lot, Ma'am. Oh, my pleasure. Anytime. I mean, I talk about my life struggles very openly because I want my students who are high school students to learn from me and from my failures. And for me, my biggest achievement is if a student 10 years from now comes and tells me that Mrs. Nath, you have been an amazing role model. That's all I want. So thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mishnah. Thank you, Mom. Thank you. Okay, bye.